y'all know the saying if there's a will there's a way that is the motto i am living out in real time you better ask somebody you better ask somebody i am innovative i'm gonna make it work with whatever i got so i am so excited because i have a new oil company to tell y'all about a perfume oil company a black owned business fire niche and designer fragrances y'all what is this under my nails why are my nails black <sighs> what is this for real though what is this y'all all right, y'all. So if you can't tell by now, I am in the car. And I just thought this would be the best place and time to do this video. But I'm excited. So we're going to get into it. We're going to make this the best video yet. Okay. Despite the circumstances. Despite the setup. Despite my recording location. It's all good. And if y'all haven't checked out my car thoughts video y'all gonna be seeing more of me in the car. So let's just get comfortable with it. So the company I got some perfume oils from is none other than the oil lady, the WS oil lady. I'm thinking that's Winston-Salem. So yes, I came across this black owned business via Instagram and I was intrigued. So, so, so intrigued. So if you're interested in seeing all the oils that I picked up from the oil lady, keep watching. y'all right, so i want this to be a long drawn out video and i don't have my microphone so hopefully y'all can hear me clearly but what i'm gonna do is run through the perfume oils i got let y'all know my first impression and then i will update y'all on my favorite oils in the near future so a majority of the oils on the website are five dollars and then there are some niche fragrances that are eight dollars so great prices and the catalog is cataloging long they got options on options it's overwhelming and the options are good it's not like your basic designer sense like no they got the good ones they got the ones you can't find on everybody's website and for five dollars thank you thank you so we're gonna start off with this bundle okay and then we're gonna go through the other ones so bear with me get a snack and come right back get a drink get some tea and stay with me okay all right so i'm gonna pick these at random and why is this the first one vanilla oud y'all you know k ali just came out with her oudgasm line and vanilla oud is one of the fragrances now this is not inspired by k ali but why not get vanilla oud if i want to try k ali's let me try this one vanilla oud is grown but quite good but it's the time y'all this is strong like it smells like oud but it smells so good in my opinion. It definitely smells like vanilla and oud. What it puts me in the mind of is if you know Shagaf Oud by Swiss Arabian, even though that has like rose and I think praline and oud and stuff, it puts me in the mind of Shagaf Oud. If you like Shagaf Oud, you would like this. It smells so good, y'all. Strong. It gives unisex, but not too masculine. If you're a fan of Oud, you can't afford K. Ali's Oudgasm, or you're a baby in trying Oud, or you aren't familiar with Oud, check out this. 
because it's only five dollars so if you're scared to commit to Kay Ali try this one and then you know make up your mind and I have not smelled Kay Ali's Oodgasm so I don't know if it's comparable but guess what it's vanilla Oud nevertheless so that is number one y'all hear that wind oh yeah she's shaking a tape oh, shake unless you ready to get shook next you know we were just speaking about miss mona miss k ali herself this is inspired by k ali's invite only amber 23 y'all i have not worn this yet i have tried all of these on my skin just to test the scent on me but i have not given most of them a full wear the ones that i have i will let you know this i've never smelled k ali's invite only amber but i feel like this probably what it smells like it's spicy sweet warm smells kind of boozy in my opinion gives like cinnamon as far as the spice and you get the amber and i like it i like this i do i know it's not for everybody if you don't like If you don't like bold, you don't like spicy, you don't like amber fragrances, don't get invite only amber. But if you like those things, get it. Y'all, Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. Y'all know I have Yum Pistachio Gelato 33 in a perfume oil from another black owned business. I'm not going to mention it because I want this to be about the oil lady, but this, it, it goes head to head with the other one spot on dupe y'all know i have a sample of the young pistachio gelato perfume so spot on spot on five dollars spot on five dollars a black owned business if you like young pistachio gelato check out the oil lady i'm sorry y'all if it's not focusing i'm trying my best but 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Next, I got Vanilla 28 inspired by Kay Ali. This is one I probably would not get again from this. All right, I don't know. I'm saying I probably wouldn't get it again because I have another k ali vanilla 28 perfume oil from the same company i got young pistachio gelato and i really like that one and i feel like that is probably spot on to k ali's vanilla 28 this one to me does not smell like that one but it smells good when i first smelled this i almost was like did they put the wrong fragrance in this bottle because it doesn't give what my other perfume oil gives to me this is like vanilla and citrus or something to my nose i don't know what it is but it's brighter than my other vanilla 28 perfume oil it's brighter less warm and deep but I think it smells good. <sighs> so I don't know. I'm not sure if I would get it again. But I still like it. It's not a fragrance I don't like. So I wouldn't say don't get it. But this is one I'm going to have to update you on. Next up. This is inspired by Killian's Princess. I don't need a prince by my side. I can smell it and it already smells like it. The oil, the rollerball does not have any oil on it, but I can still smell the fragrance. Smells like it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. impressed just by my first oil 
Yep. Spot on. Well, okay. Let me not lie to you. I've never smelled Killian's Princess, but I have a dual brand inspired extra day parfum which is inspired by killian and this smells just like it so i feel like it's probably spot on because this smells identical to my dual brand princeless princess let me not get to lying this is spot on to my princeless princess and highly recommend it's like marshmallow apple ginger it's fresh sweet fluffy it just makes me feel good i love it i feel like it's an all-year-round scent beautiful for the fall if you're familiar with white tea and ginger by bath and body works it's like that plus marshmallow because it does have a tea note in it and i think like is it peach and apple or something like that i don't know something like that and i previously put on the inspired scent for Killian's Princess right here. And I put Vanilla Oud here. And together, it's giving a little bit. It's giving a little bit. So I don't know what Kay Ali's Vanilla Oud smells like. But maybe you need to try it with Killian's Princess. But if you don't have Kay Ali Vanilla Oud money, get Vanilla Oud by the oil lady. Mm. Y'all, if you have not checked out my scent mail from Miss Crystal, go check that out. She sent me a perfume sample of Byron's Parfum, The Chronic. And on my skin, baby, The Chronic smells so good. Even though it has some notes that I'm not really a fan of, there is a leather note in it. So, um, they had The Chronic perfume. This is one of the $8 perfume oils because this is a niche fragrance, but baby, spot on. The Chronic, spot on, spot on. Dupe, it's a dupe, spot on dupe. It's as on as on can get. It's nothing off about this perfume. It is on. On point, spot on, on time. Oh my goodness, it's so good. This is a unisex fragrance, but it's beautiful. And on my skin, it just, it does something very special. So if you're familiar with The Chronic by Byron's Parfum, get it from the oil lady. Miss Crystal also sent me Moolah Moolah and I was tempted to get it, but I didn't. Cause I said, let me see if The Chronic is on point before I just go buy everything. But now that make me want to go get that Moolah Moolah Rouge Extreme because they had the perfume oil. Now we're on to the second bundle. I just don't want to take too much time, y'all. This is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper inspired by K. Ali. I also have the perfume oil in this from another company, but I got this and Vanilla 28 in a half dram sample. So I got it in the one third ounce from this company because I like those so much. And this company is cheaper in price. So I was willing to take the chance on Vanilla 28 and sweet diamond pink pepper because i love them so much and i want a bigger size this smells so good this smells spot on to the other company so highly recommend this is this for the grown women if you don't like pink pepper you don't like rose you don't like really sweet with some zest and spice if you don't like that don't get it if you don't like rose don't get it if you don't like strong scents don't get it but if you like all of those descriptions that i just mentioned sweet diamond pink peppermint all day this is 10 out of 10 
highly recommend no complaints when it comes to that one y'all okay i have to go more in depth with this fragrance this is princess by vera wang which i have worn and so let me break it down for you i never had princess by vera wang but back when i was in college i got the princess perfume oil from this local mall and loved it i love that scent down it smells so good like i would wear that fragrance to this day and this smells like it but not exactly and what I have to say about this, I'm not mad at this perfume because when I eventually did smell Princess, the actual perfume by Vera Wang, it did not put me in the mind of the oil I had. It was like, the best way I can describe the perfume oil I had in the past was, it probably smelled like what Princess Intense would smell like if there was one there is not a princess intense but the oil was just stronger and it was like i don't know just stronger okay more bold this puts me in the mind of the oil but it's not as strong this is probably a spot on oil to the actual perfume but i kind of was wanting the perfume oil I had of Princess in the past. So I'm not mad at it because as this sat on my skin, the longer it sat, the warmer it got, it was giving me more of my oil from the past, but it had to take some time to get there. Now I like this. I think if you are a girl that likes inoffensive fragrances, it's sweet but not juvenile it's fresh but not too fresh it's just pretty it's an everyday scent you can wear this to work if you like that type of fragrance princess is for you i do enjoy this aroma i really really do i just am only disappointed because i just wish it smelled like my previous princess perfume oil from 10 years ago but it's okay i have no regrets i think it probably does smell like the perfume it's been a while since i smelled the perfume so i cannot 100 percent confirm or deny that it does but like i said when i smelled the perfume it did not remind me of the oil so <sighs> take what you want from that next i got scandal this is inspired by John Paul Gaultier. And y'all, this smells good. It's like honey, warm, perfect for the fall. It's good. Next, Miss Crystal sent me a perfume sample of Jimmy Choo Illicit. And I fell in love with it. So I had to get the perfume oil, right? It smells like Jimmy Choo Illicit. It's on point. It's on point. I'm trying to keep it moving for y'all, okay? This last one from this bunch, a hit. I don't even care if it does or does not smell like the fragrance it is duping. I don't care because it smells good. It smells so good. And I almost wasn't going to get it just because of what fragrance it was. So this is Musk 12 inspired by K. Ali. I've never smelled Musk 12, but I know it's often sold out. Y'all, this smells, this smells so good. So good. Ugh, so good. So, so good. It gives powder fresh it gives musk but vanilla it gives vanilla musk plus powderiness it's fresh it's something i would wear all year round it's sweet it's not too musky it leans more feminine in my opinion 
if you are a fresh girl and you like musk 12 if you think musk 12 doesn't have great longevity go get that perfume oil that is one of the ones that is so inoffensive i would recommend it to any and everybody okay like any and everybody i don't care who you are go get that musk 12 and let the oil lady know i sent you her and her family i forgot to tell y'all it is family operated so i'm all down for that keep it in the family this is my last bundle hopefully y'all are still bearing with me this first perfume i'm gonna get this one out the way this is burberry her elixir i've personally never smelled burberry her elixir and i was slightly disappointed with the aroma because it reminds me of baccarat and i've heard people talk about burberry her having the baccarat dna and whatnot but this burberry her elixir at least in this perfume oil is giving baccarat and i'm so over that scent right now like i like baccarat i do it's just i have so many dupes now i do get i do get a strawberry creaminess but it's kind of like overshadowed by Baccarat. So, all that to say, if you like Baccarat, you're a Baccarat fan, you're a Baccarat girly, get Burberry Hurry Elixir in this perfume oil. Because I can't tell you if it smells like Burberry Hurry Elixir or not because I've never smelled it. But I do get a berry aroma it's just not strong it's more in the background i would like i'm trying to catch the lighting y'all i would layer this with my burberry her perfume because i do have burberry her just not the elixir that's how i feel about that that's another one take that how you want it i don't think i would repurchase this one next i got fancy inspired by jessica simpson's fancy i have never smelled this perfume either but in college i had the fancy fragrance mist and loved it down loved it down this it does smell like it again i've never smelled the perfume but i have smelled the fragrance mist and yeah it smells like fancy and i like it i love it and i love it yeah and i love it yeah i want the light sign where are you at baby y'all i needed this light it's the sun for me every time so i had to move y'all so fancy i do like it and recommend it if you like jessica simpson's fancy yeah it's warm Mm-hmm. You got some fruit and it's caramel-ish. Definitely warm. You can tell by the color of the oil. It's warm and deep. I like it. Y'all. Y'all always talk about Miss Valentino, Donna, Born in Roma. And mm -hmm, I see why. I know I smelled this in the store like one time. But because everybody loves it so much, I never was pressed for it. But baby, I don't know if Miss Donna, who was born in Roma, I don't know if she smells like this. But this is good, okay? $5, good, good. I don't care if Miss Donna smelled like this. I don't care if she wasn't born in Roma. This smells good with a T. Good. Good. Okay. It's sweet. Sweet, sweet. It's like I'm getting floral. Slight creaminess. Super bright. Super feminine. Super inoffensive. It's playful. Grown. Put together. Day or night it's given okay next is utopia vanilla cocoa inspired by k ali y'all see i got the k ali sense on deck love it it's spot on spot on spot on and i'm not even a coconut girly 
but it's spot onto the perfume so if you don't like the perfume don't get the oil if you like the perfume get the oil yeah spot on vanilla cocoa floral yeah yeah next deja vu white flower 57 inspired by k ali y'all i could see why somebody don't like this i could see why somebody wouldn't like this the white floral prominent But that creaminess is what does it for me. I'm not even really a white floral type of girl. Like, I don't like white florals like that. But this, I would be interested in the perfume if it smelled like this. Mm. It's the creaminess for me. It's the creaminess with the floral. If you're going to give me some floral, give me floral with some creaminess, with some sweetness. I'm going to layer this a lot. I'm going to wear it by itself and I'm going to layer it. Best believe. The last two fragrances are my scent of the day. Okay. We started off with Eden Juicy Apple by K. Ali, which I'm not even the biggest apple fan. But baby, it smells good. Juicy, sweet apple. It's giving red apple. It's like the red apple from Snow White. Ooh. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I don't even like apple fragrances. But this is good. And I know why y'all like it. And I layered it with La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is the inspired perfume oil, of course. I have smelled La Belle one time. Creamy pear. Sweet. Warm fall mm. so i did eden juicy apple plus la belle today and then i went in with casablanca sprayed that on me on my clothes a time i went to church today and i still smell good y'all mm. i smell good that's all i can say y'all y'all see my haul was hauling and y'all my perfume oil collection is done. I don't need any more perfume oils. But I could not resist putting y'all onto another black-owned business that has perfume oils that are affordable. Holiday season is coming up. These would be perfect gifts, okay? These would be perfect gifts for Christmas, okay? So I'm giving y'all time to get y'all coin together so y'all can go support this black owned business top tier packaging was on point it didn't even take a week to get here like they shipped it out super fast i was like i don't know how long it's gonna take but guess what i was willing to be patient and honestly did not even have to be as patient as i thought i was gonna be so y'all i highly recommend the oil lady okay and to the oil lady and family if y'all are watching y'all y'all have a forever customer a loyal customer i'm gonna put people on and i'm not saying y'all need to do this i'm not saying this for y'all to do this but if y'all ever want to sponsor a video if you ever want to send me some new scent for me to review i got y'all because i trust y'all i also want to say before i leave oils are great quality i did one of ania's oil hacks and you know put the oil on my hand rubbed it and put it on my clothes i didn't do that today but i did that when i used my princess perfume oil and when i tell you hands were not sticky i didn't feel like i needed to run to the bathroom to go wash my hands that is a standard practice for me because i hate stuff being on my hands i just need my hands clean at all time and my hands still felt clean after I rubbed the oils on my hand and rubbed it on my clothes. So, oils are high quality. I have not had any skin irritation. 
They're fragrant, okay? Highly fragrant. Go check out the oil lady and tell her I sent you, okay? I don't wanna keep saying the same thing, so we're gonna wrap up this video. I wanna do this in the sun. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you all for supporting. Go support a black owned business, especially one that I've talked to you about. Let them know I sent you. Thank y'all for being loyal glow getters. I don't take y'all for granted. It's windy, so hopefully y'all can hear me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop them down below. Give me a thumbs up. It helps my algorithm and it lets me know what type of content you enjoy from me. And if you made it to the end of this video and you are not a current subscriber, hit that subscribe button. It costs you nothing. It's free. Share my video with any and everybody that wants to smell good, especially on a budget. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it.